update to my original video when I couldn't get this generator running. Champion was really good about sending me all kinds of extra parts, including this brand new carburetor. I put the carburetor on it and it made no difference. It still ran as rough as ever. I was on the phone with him a number of times and I followed all the suggestions but nothing made a difference. It just wouldn't run right when it was hot. But on the front of the unit, you can see these three dots here, these little lights. That box is actually, this box, gives you the overload and, and uh, output lights, but it's also the control box for the ignition. The generator is not timed like your lawnmower, and it's electronic. So what I did was I took this piece out, and it's easy to get to, four screws on the front here, and you loosen the choke cable and just pop it right out. I put it in the freezer for about uh, 20 minutes and got it good and cold. I then put it back in the generator and it ran perfectly. When it got warm again, it started running poor. I tested it you know, a couple more times just to make sure it's definitely this box. So I phoned Champion again and they sent me this for free and good on them. The generator is like new and, and uh, I'm certain it, it would work. And when I got it in the mail, I popped it in, and now it runs, it runs like new. So kudos to Champion for stepping up and helping the guy out with a generator that's completely out of warranty. But uh, with such few hours on it, it would be a shame to throw it away. So if anybody else has a Champion that's given you that kind of problem, running rough like this one was, check this. Take it out, put it in the freezer, freeze it, put it back in the unit. If it's running good after that, phone champion to get one of these. I think they sell for 40 bucks or 60 bucks or something like that. And I'll start it up now. It's cold. It hasn't been running today.